In today's video, I am going to talk about how to figure out an AM modulation percentage. Not too long ago, I was working on a boombox and I did an alignment of the long wave, uh, short wave, and AM bands. And it always tells you to feed in a signal of a certain frequency. And it says set the modulation percentage, for example, to 30%. But now what do you do if you're if your RF generator, if it doesn't have a modulation percentage indicator, like I was using a, a leader generator up to last year, I didn't have that. And the one, but the one I'm using now, which is a Panasonic, it actually has that. So all I do is read the indicator. But what happens again? What happens if you don't have that? How do you go about doing that? You can see here this is a modulated signal. This is actually. What do, what do I have now? This is actually 800 kilohertz, and that's modulated by a 400 hertz signal. You can see I'm going to remove the modulation right now. Turn it off, and then all we should have, all, should, all we're going to be seeing here is actually the carrier. So now I'm going to add the 400 hertz to it again. And in order to do, of course, in order to do the figuring out, we have to get, we have to adjust our oscilloscope correctly. And I got to get it to basically like this. And what we're going to do is measure the maximum points and the minimum points. That's how we're going to figure that out. Uh, it's not that important how large this waveform is, but rather what's important is the ratio between the maximum and the minimum. But I'm going to go ahead and just expand this because it's easier to basically um, figure out and to see. So I've got it set up now as to where the waveform fills out the whole scope autograticals from top to bottom. Of course that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now on my uh, on my Panasonic here, right now it's showing me it is showing me exactly I have to take a look here, I don't know what it's at. It's showing me exactly 30% right now, or I'll turn it down more. I'll turn it down to 20%. This is 20%. Now I'll go ahead and show how to do this if you don't actually have that output level uh, level indicator. So now for this now what I would do again I count the the uh, basically the peaks and I basically I compare that I, I count the height of the peaks and then I compare that to the height of the um, valley or again as I said maximum minimum some people call this up here a crest for example but I'll just use maximum minimum or peak and valley so what we do now to figure out the modulation percentage again I said we have to count and so I've, I've lined this up here so it's easiest for me to count uh, here the the middle radical here is exactly in the middle of this peak so all I do is count now the number of number of radicals it fills up what I'm going to do is bring the whole thing down a little bit and then I'm just going to go ahead and count up from here so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I would say that's around seven point two. So I, I write down the seven point two, and then I take the valley here. Again, I can adjust it here so I can so I can read the valley best here. So it's right in the middle of this uh, center radical. And I'll count again. It's going to be easier for me to count from here on down. So it's one, two, three, four, 
almost 5, it's 4.8. So we have 7.2 and 4.8. Let me get myself a pin. So I got myself a pin now, which took a little bit. And remember I said the maximum was 7.2, the minimum was 4.8. Kind of ballpark figure. I mean, this is also going to depend upon how accurately you read your oscilloscope. And you're just trying to get it in the general vicinity. I mean, it doesn't have to be spot on. So, um, and here's the formula. What you use, the modulation percentage is equal to A minus B. And A is going to stand for, A is going to be the maximum. And B is going to be the minimum. And what we do is we take A minus B. We divide that by A plus B times 100. And that gives us the modulation percentage. So now let me go ahead and find a calculator. So and here's my actual calculation. Again, A means maximum, B is minimum, and the maximum was 7.2, the minimum was 4.8. So we take 7.2 minus 4.8 and we take that result and we divide that by 7.2 plus 4.8 and that gives me 2.4 on top and 12 on the bottom. Now I take this times 100 and that's supposed to give me the modulation percentage. So let me do that math which would be 2.4 divided by 12 times 100 equals 20 percent. Rather equals 20 and that's going to equal 20%. Now we'll take a look at our indicator here on the Panasonic and see if I was correct. And here we can see the, the modulation level indicator. And I did my math and it was 20%. And if we look here, I'm on the 30% scale. And the indicator is right on 20%. So it's actually... I was actually pretty close. Now, of course, I'm doing the comparison now. It might be at different, say if I fed in different modulation percentages, uh, it would also depend upon how accurate your your output indicator is here. Um, but again, if you don't have a output level indicator like with my old leader I did, that's how you can just use an oscilloscope just to figure things out.